Hey, welcome back to No High Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get all the updates. Really excited for today's beer. It's a vintage or a, a beer that comes out regularly, and I always look forward to each vintage. I should say it's Firestone Walker's Parabola, and it's a 2020 vintage. I recently did, well, somewhat recently, I think it was 2013. Um, I have a, I think it's slightly off camera, but I have a good run of them going and I got to start drinking them down. Um, but I, I, you know what? I didn't think I was going to do it this year. The, my local bottle shop had it for a really high price. And, um, I was like, well, if that's what they're charging, I'm not going to go for that. And then I got this at a local restaurant that also has a bottle shop and there it was normal price. So, uh, pretty happy about that. <clears throat> I quick compared the backs uh, where all the writing is. It's pretty much the same. Um, here's what's different. It is always a beast of a beer with intense flavors of black cherry, dark chocolate, and roast coffee. Yet each annual release also bears its own subtle imprint. This 2020 vintage of Parabola is distinguished by secondary notes of tobacco, vanilla, caramel, and plum. All impacted, extended, I'm sorry, all in, imparted by extended aging in premier bourbon barrels. 13.6% uh, ABV, and uh, that's the only thing I care about on the front. There's a lot of good information on the front. It's just more than I ever, excuse me, read or, I feel like I keep fading when I'm talking, <laughs> low energy. Uh, I'm doing this review a little later in the day than I'm used to. Uh, yeah, can't even tell I just washed that glass out. Yeah, it's pretty black. A little bit of brown, but it's it's pretty much just black. Definitely a mocha color. It had almost like nitro, nit wow, nitro tiny bubbles and regular small bubbles, some medium bubbles. Yeah, I mean, actually, it's all over the place uh, in terms of that head, but the color is definitely a maybe slightly light mocha. But yeah, it definitely looks like a nice big stout. Let's get into the aroma. I get that cherry plum thing for sure. Mmm. I'm gonna say leather actually. I see what they're saying with things like tobacco, but like for me, it's it's like oh, like a leathery thing. Hmm. There's the vanilla. Chocolate. You get some of the. Like bourbon specifically. Yeah, it's almost, yeah, it's, um, it's like, uh, I mean, it's all of those things, but it's really this, this almost sm like cherry smoked beer. I feel like the second I say smoked beer, people's minds are going to go way more smoky than I mean, but like that element is there. Man, that chocolate is, 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 it's soft, it's milk chocolatey, it's sweet that way. But then there's these savory things going, not to keep mentioning like leather and smoky, but then there's these savory things. It smells really good. And it's got, it's got a lot going on and it, it's working, which is great. Cheers. Good solid mouthfeel. It's not syrupy, it's not oily, but it, it definitely has body and oomph to it. I'm drinking this at cellar temperature, and it's six, just over 60 degrees down here. So it's definitely plenty warm, and I'm getting a little bit of alcohol, not much. For thir was it 13.6? Yeah, for 13.6, it's not much, but you are getting a little bit. A little bit on the palate, a little bit in the chest, warming. Definitely got that chocolate, got some of that bourbon. That, it's char, but it does move beyond char to a, a smoke element. But like I was saying, the aroma, I don't want people to think this is a smoked beer. It's, it's not, it's not, it's not. But it's a, wow, it's charred of a beer. 
like like when you're transitioning from char to potentially smokiness, it's like where those two meet, I guess is what I'm saying. So you do get whispers of, of smoke in this. Not full on peatiness, but like reminiscent for, for the scotch drinkers who, who like uh, peaty scotch. The, you, the roast, you get stout roastiness, like like dry stout roast. You get dark chocolate, and you do get some coffee. You get like all three things just from that stout uh, uh, roastiness, which is amazing. It's dry. It, it has the, the oak tannins that way. Just like the aroma, there's a lot going on. I do think it works. I do think this beer with like a year on it, let some of this stuff melt together, round the edges out a little bit, um, will be when this is like, or, or even longer than a year. But I, I think this, I'm glad I have two bottles. I, I end up pull, pulling the trigger because <laughs> where I first saw it, was twice the price it's supposed to be. So I'm like, oh, I can get two for that price. So I did buy two, one to do on camera now, one to age. If you are like me and you have two, definitely drink one now, for sure. And then age the other one for however long you feel like. But um, if you only have one, I would say drink it anytime because it is drinking well now. Um, I have to, again, mention the warmth in the chest. If you don't want that, serve it cooler than I am. Uh, I would let it age as well. Um, and it says it on the box too, like, I don't know, I looked over there, it's down here. Um, you know, let it come up in temperature. And, it, and it's a thing I struggle with some of these reviews, especially a beer like this. I don't want it too cold. I kind of want to be able to taste all the flavors. But then from a drinking experience off camera, off camera, it's going to kind of suck. Cause it's all it's going to do is go up that last 10 degrees instead of kind of creeping up. I don't know, 55, 62, is it that big of a deal? Maybe not. Maybe I'm making too big of a deal about it. But yeah, I, I, let me do one more swig because there's a lot going on. I want to make sure I do it justice. Yeah, that, again, that chocolate, it's, it's very much dark chocolate, but there are some, or at least I shouldn't say some, there is a moment of, of sweet chocolate, like a milk chocolate. But it dries out fast. And a little like hop prickliness too going on. Yeah, this is a good beer. Again, there's a lot going on. This is one of the things I'm liking about this beer besides the flavor being good is yeah, it's just that there's a lot to kind of dissect. And I think as I keep sipping on it, I'm probably going to keep coming up with stuff. But I'm going to cut this review uh, at this point. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. If you had this beer, I know this is a beer people look forward to. So I'd love to have comments on it. So definitely, if you had this beer, what do you think? What do you think it is, how it's doing compared to other vintages? All that kind of stuff, comment section below. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.